Early has finally started to step up here in the later half of the metagame and show us that this deck can still do stuff. I'm big 30% of you that have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out. More Oz content. What is this? The Baton Rouge, Louisiana regional break? No, oh, that's that's really good out there. Uh, so we are opening up with uh, Double Cash Tira. Woo wee! Woo! Oh man. Not a shocked, you know, Pikachu face in the whole wide world to see we got good old Cash Tira out here. <sighs> that's that's my enthusiasm for the video. Now we had Double Purely out here. Now this has been kind of a little interesting track record to follow out here. As we've seen Purely kind of step back in, what is this, week three at this point in the metagame? It took Purely a little while to kind of figure out, hey, you know, like, what do we got to do to kind of you know, adjust to, you know, all of these dimension shifters, all these arise hearts, all this, you know, stuff that's making the experience quite not so fun for us. And well, the answer is, Book of Moon. Um, we saw Book of Moon in the very early stages of the format for the deck, but I, I guess Variant's finally grabbed hold and has allowed this deck the chance to to do well. Um, interesting. We also had Labyrinth showing up out here. I mean, Labyrinth's been a pretty major mainstay out here at this stage. I, I don't know why you'd be surprised when I tell you that, hey, you know, Labyrinth actually did well out here. Um, that's Trap Tricks also. Trap Tricks actually stepped into the light here this week and actually had another top, which I think is kind of impressive, actually. That deck has, like, been so quiet, and the fact that, you know, all of a sudden out here, it's it's back. All right, we also had Naturia Runic. Hey, you know what? Runic players, good for you. I'm glad that you're starting to overcome the uh, the craziness. And then there's an Eldritch list. I do not have the Eldritch list, unfortunately. Eldritch would have been one of the decks that would have got the chance to, or wanted to talk about out of this top cut, but it's kind of what we're looking at right now it, over the general course of the breakdown for this event. So let's pass on over to those deck lists. All right, so starting things off here, we got Purely. Remember when people were trying to get crazy and trying to play, you know, variations of two of one of these and then three of the other? I, I remember. That was that was a strange time. Uh, this build is uh, we're on Triple Curry Car with the double books for defensive options. We have called by the grave because, I mean, I don't want to lose to a random hand trap, right? Like, it's literally the worst feeling in the world is losing to a hand trap. And we're playing Double Leap, actually. I haven't seen a lot of people... Uh, kind of head back towards this actually the fact that we are that we're doing this is kind of impressive honestly um i'll take that um other innovations and things that kind of stick out to me um i mean vice deals are back in the format a actually the fact that like vice deals stormed back into the format here and when you're looking at a deck like this you're like all right so i mean we need as many hand traps as we can to be able to play the game because i mean like your game plan is big big cat go if big cat can't come down you got to have cards to prevent your opponent from playing the game that's that's why like oh boy <laughs> Our, our side deck down here is effectively 10 hand traps and a brick, but I mean, like, that brick does accelerate game plan. You're already main deck in, you know, 12 other hand traps here, and then, you know, immediate cards to kind of out those particulars. So that's something you really got to consider here when you're looking at, like, how the metagame has progressed at this stage. And, you know, like, how your bases are being covered here is, one, you know, uh, can it, Am I synergistic? What hand traps can I play with those expected hand traps? And, you know, number two, can, like, my extra deck handle things? I mean, this deck will also be famously known as, ha ha ha, I made the Zeus, ha ha ha, chain, wipe your board, ha ha ha, do it again. Oh, you have nothing left? Okay, normal, uh, purely F. Uh, that's, that's literally, like, what I feel like the, the deck's experience is for this. Um, yeah, outside of that, I, uh, I don't have anything, uh, really too crazy to mention here. Um... Actually, I don't even think, are we playing? We're not even playing the field spell in here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Next up here, we got some Labyrinth. Okay. Uh, we're, we're playing, I mean, we're playing some furniture. Um, we, won't, we decided we wanted to go out here to Ikea and pat, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <sighs> you know, I'm happy and disgusted at the same time to see that labyrinth of all things is taking advantage of those time rolls. If you thought out here for a second that when you were looking at the particulars of this format, if you thought that uh, 
I'd, I'd never seen this before. This is actually really hilarious. I there's not been a seek or single Labyrinth player to date that I have seen. It's probably happened that has played Secret Barrel or a Burn Stall card because it's a normal trap. So anyway, we went out to Ikea today. We decided that we wanted to get a stove, a clock, and we wanted to play the Chandelure as our choices for targets. Remember, Mr. Stovey here does act as the tuner. Well, I actually had somebody message me and go, how are you making Chaos Angel in Labyrinth? It seems like a worth, worthless spot. People, this once again just proves that Yu-Gi-Oh players can't read cards here. I, especially like if I bold highlight this and you know a one line of text here, people will still question you know why we play certain synchros in this build but you know there you go I, I figured I'd go ahead and include that little statement here uh, also to the people that are still questioning why you play like gamma in this deck gamma has become the norm at this point like don't disagree with innovation it's stuck around it's been successful at this point if you're gonna disagree with results go, go somewhere else like come on like it, it makes sense at this stage. So, interesting. Next up here. Hi, Naturia Runic. Oh, feeling daring today. Once again, we see the double fountain here doing its thing as it should. I mean, three fountain in this particular build, I, I agree, is not going to work out. All right, like, it's not going to be the most best thing in the world. But, you know, it, it works. We got Board Breaker here. What what am I supposed to say about this deck? I mean, what, you're on triple Camellia, triple Mole Cricket, and one Sunflower, and then you play the Sacred Trees. Um, I don't... You're not going to play Vayne anymore, because uh, basically every other Nat Shuri card is hot water. Like, it's, it's really bad. Like, I, I think you're going to be covering your bases uh, enough here in the department of, you know, your Negates. You have your Interruption stuff here. Blossing just lets you toggle up into this. Um, the choice of hand traps is very, very much uh, dependent on the format here. Obviously, draw and lockbird is like the, the free slam it down auto win button in certain matchups. Thank you, Super Heavy Samurai, if they don't have Gamma. You got the Kurikara here to ensure that you know you can clean up anything that Kashtira is doing. Uh, I mean, your bases are essentially covered with the main deck. Um, down here in the extra deck, um, only two grave of the super ancient uh, organism, I think, is fine. Um, Cash has had a pretty decent time playing around this, believe it or not. I, I've seen this card be flipped a couple times, and it, Cash doesn't really feel like they care all that much. I mean, the card is an amazing floodgate, but like, it hasn't done much in the way of the format. Uh, I see that we are also packing in uh, Bice. Yeah, we got Bice deals, and we have Kaijus for IL 9, and then we have the Ashes if need. Uh, we also are playing TC Boo for Floodgate of Choice, which, I mean, once again, is fine. Uh, you don't really... Your typings don't matter in this deck. Your bases are covered, and you should be able to do everything that you need to do with this deck. So, okay. Makes sense to me. And then... Oh, well... Hi there, Trap Tricks. So, DLC Structure Deck Edition. Um, we got the Parallel Seeds, we got the Shifters, we got the Drolls. And we've... <laughs> We're packing in the gammas right now. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you if you thought that you you could get away with not playing gamma at this point, yeah, you, you kind of need it. Um, hand traps. I mean, the defensive options too are pretty important right now. Uh, trap lineup. I think a few people will be like, well, that's kind of small. But I mean, like, you kind of had to strip down your your traps in order to play hand traps at this stage. Because, like, the format's not that fun, all right? Like, you need these particular cards to cover your bases so you can do your thing. I mean, they've even kicked evenly down here to the side. Like, this format is not evenly matched friendly at this stage. All right, like, you need cards like this uh, that you can pull out in the matchups that they're relevant for. But you also kind of got to keep in mind that because the format is the way that it is, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's rough out here. <laughs> Um, it's such a shame that Trap Tricks has been kicked so far to the back of the format that they don't really get much of a chance to kind of keep up right now. And I think it's really sad to say, but that's just how things are going right now. So that wraps up our breakdown here out of good old Louisiana. Um, all things considered, it was a good event. Decent amount of Rogue, which... I'm actually very, very happy with. Um, anytime that we see this much rogue is good. So please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.